Well, it has been a long time since I posted my last video. Since then, we've gone through a fairly harsh winter. And of course, my baby needed the annual done, which was finished fairly recently. And so it's sitting in the hangar here waiting to go, or should I say it's begging me to go. So today, we're gonna to do something a little different. Um, as you can see here, my Super Petrel is uh, all ready to go. I've got uh, 20 gallons of fuel and I've got uh, fishing gear and I've got fishing gear along today. So we're gonna try something different. We're gonna to fly to a lake called Fire Lake. Fire Lake is roughly about a 17 minute flight for me from this lake that we call Lillooet Lake. And uh, I'll give you just a little look of my Super Patrol here. As you can tell, the life jacket's waiting and there's my fishing gear. Um, it's gonna be a trial today simply because it's gonna be the first time out this year. That gives you a rough idea as to what my equipment is. I'm fairly well equipped and I even have a, a constant speed prop um, that I use quite quite a bit and you will notice that as I fly that I will use it quite often so it's going to be a short uh, flight and then um, I'll video a little bit of me fishing so hopefully it's going to turn out thanks for watching A nice short takeoff, uh, about uh, probably just uh, around 500 feet, and uh, we'll be climbing up to uh, uh, 4,200 because the lake is at 3,500 feet. So I'll just trim it up, and uh, I'll be using some of the uh, constant scree obviously to speed down my RPM here. I still have uh, a lot of pull. my RPM to about 4,800 RPM. So just through a thousand feet now. Select landing. So I have this... Water uh, landing, okay. I have this uh, system that sends me warnings uh, in regards to the landing gear. And as you just heard, um, just ask me what kind of landing I want to do. And obviously I've got... Re I've got it in the uh, water mode, so landing gear up. And uh, so basically all I do is just push on the button and then um, it comes back saying it's okay. So, so we'll climb out here. Um, I'm uh, gonna turn off the video momentarily. Mind you, it's, it is beautiful up here. Uh, so maybe I'll just leave it on for a while. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful place in, in British Columbia. And as you can see, this is uh, what we call mountain flying. It's a warm day, so a little bit of turbulence uh, is quite normal. Having said that, it is quite shocking how stable this aircraft is, uh, considering it, how small and light it is. Um, I fly a Cessna 182 as well, and uh, there's probably very similar instability, and it probably has to do with the fact that it's a biplane. So, anyway, it's a little turbulence coming out of the lake right now. And it'll probably be that way all the way to Fire Lake, I would guess. I've reduced my uh, RPM by uh, adjusting my constant free pop and I'm down to 4,800 RPM now. That's a very comfortable RPM for this Rotex engine. 
I seem to get uh, the best economy between 4,600 and 4,800 RPM. So just doing a quick check, so my voltmeter is good, it's charging well, my CHT is in the, the lower part of the green, and my uh, oil temperature is just beginning to rise, it's in the green, oil pressure is good, and the fuel of course is uh, full, just at, uh, at the beginning I told you that I have uh, 20 gallons, and um, so we're just climbing through 2,500 now. On route to 4,000. It's a very bright day, as you can see. A few little, few little clouds, but uh, overall, just a fantastic day here in southern BC. We wait for these days here. The lake that we're flying over right now, Little Lake, is um, 14 miles long, and Lillooet Lake runs into Little Lillooet Lake. It's a much smaller lake, and um, from there it runs down the valley, uh, Lillooet River, into Harrison Lake, and then Harrison Lake, of course, for those of you that live in the Fraser Valley, for those that don't know, Harrison Lake runs into Fraser River, and the Fraser River dictates the elevation of the lake. So we can have a 14-foot a difference within the seasons. So right now it is kind of at the medium level, and um, it will probably stay that way most of the July, and then uh, probably part of August, and then it will go up higher because of a lot of the snow melt coming down. Uh, we will probably see another 10 feet of uh, water up. So it makes it challenging as far as obviously uh, boating and flying, but it's an amazingly beautiful place and uh, we're just so happy that we can be here. So it's just coming through 3,000 feet. When you fly down this valley, this uh, Lillooet River Valley, there are um, several native re reserves um, and uh, quite a few living there. A very interesting place with some hot springs. Um, some of you may have heard of the Skookumchuk Hot Springs. They're right by a little town called Skookumchuk. And then uh, there are some completely natural hot springs beside a creek. Uh, that comes actually off of Fire Lake. So um, I'll be flying right over those actually on the way to Fire Lake for fishing. Most of the mountain range around here is um, between 6,500 and 8,500 feet top high. So here you can see uh, Little White River, and um, as you can see it's uh, glacier water, very milky, and uh, yeah the turbulence today is actually quite strong because of the uh, updraft in these valleys. So we're going to turn and go into that valley there, and um, I'll turn the video on once we get a bit closer. So a little update here. So this is Little Art River, it flows right into the Harrison Lake River, and then Harrison Lake of course goes into the Fraser River. And then over here you have uh, Glacier Lake. Uh, as you can see it's all glacier water, the color of it really makes that very obvious. So we're going to fly over Glacier Lake and then we'll, we'll climb up a little bit, 
and the fly over that ledge and they sent down into Fire Lake. Nice color. I turn the uh, prop to high pitch for landing. Here's up, all the numbers are good. A little bit of a chop. Water. Looks like it's coming straight at me. And it looks like I'm the only one here today. Really the only way to get in here is to fly by float plane or amphib. Little bit of a chop. I'm gonna head over to the other end. And see if it's a little calmer there. For fishing, it's better if it's calm. Select landing. Water landing, okay. So here I am on my way back to home base. I will be uh, landing right in front of the uh, ramp and then taxi up the ramp to the hangar.
You can see I'm uh, pointing the uh, nose right uh, towards the ramp and um, I will be uh, lowering the landing gear right here as you can see and then I will taxi up right to the hangar. 